What is up guys and girls, in today's video I'll be doing a head-to-head -head comparison between Claude 3 Opus and GPT-4 Turbo. We'll be using the same prompts to generate the same article and then I'll be testing the readability, the SEO score, the AI detection score, plagiarism, and overall quality of the output for that specific article in which we're writing about. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already set up the system prompts. And if you want to find any of these prompts, I'll leave a link for it in the description below today's video. Just enter your email and I'll send you over those prompts. So this is the system prompt. This is our prompt for outline. And this is using the playground mode. Again, GPD or turbo. We're going to keep the temperature around 0 0.5 and we're going to increase that maximum length. Now, if you head over to Claude, this is the API console. And again, we have access to Claude 3 Opus, and then we have temperature and we have uh, max tokens. I'll increase the temperature just a tad, but you're usually good with just keeping the temperature as is uh, when you're using uh, Claude 3. So again, we have our system prompts, and then we have our um, article title and our, our article outline here. For this example, I'll be writing for a client, which is how to purchase Power Sports Vehicle as a First Nation member in Canada. Let's go ahead and run this first on... Um, opus and i'm also going to run this on gpt4 turbo in terms of speed i definitely think a gpt4 turbo is a little bit faster than claude um, 3 opus and that's just because claude 3 is pretty new so it takes a little bit longer but overall it's not that big of a difference the delta isn't that you know noticeable but gpt4 turbo is a little bit faster if you like to know that so now that we have our outline i can go ahead and copy over our prompt for the full article and again that link will be below and I can head back over to the playground mode. And as you can see here, this is the output in which we get back for the outlines. And usually both tools are going to be pretty good when it comes to outlines. They do a good job at really understanding what the article is about. So again, as you can see here, we get introduction, types of power sports, researching and choosing the right vehicle, financing options, and so forth. So now that we have our um, outline, let's paste in our output for the full article. The only thing that I'll be changing, I'm not going to tell it to write individually because that will take too long, but you can do that. Usually writing it individually helps with the output quality. So we're going to go ahead and run this and I'm going to copy over the prompt. And what you need to do when you're using the API console is that you need to add that to the conversation so the AI knows that that's included in the conversation. And then for the user, we're going to paste in the same prompt. And then we're going to click run when using Opus. The dashboard is a little bit different and the way they use it is a little bit different when using the API console in Anthropic compared to GPT-4 Turbo, but after a couple of uses, it becomes pretty easy to use. GPT-4 Turbo is completed. The first article is about 800 words. It's a pretty decent article, I would say. So we'll wait until Opus is finished and we'll compare the first article uh, from the original article from GPT-4 Turbo. I can already see that we're getting a table included, or sorry, a chart included in Claude Opus, and let's go ahead and see if we got a table in GPT-4 Turbo. It looks like we did not. So Claude is a little bit better at following instructions. So I find like if you tell Claude to do something, it will actually more likely than not follow those instructions compared to um, ChatGPT or GPT-4 Turbo. It's about 900 words. Again, not too far off from GPT-4 Turbo. But again, I think I like Claude a little bit better because again, it listens to instructions much um, much more consistently. We have a nice little table here. This article is not bad, but again, I'm definitely leaning towards the article from Opus. So what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and expand the article. So if we wanted to, we can copy over our prompt here. And this is a little bit of a new trick that I've been playing with. Typically, I paste this into the playground mode and then I switch to GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K. I've been following the same sort of idea when using um, Claude. So what I can do is I can add this into the conversation and then I can use the same prompt and I can, instead of using Claude 3 Opus because it takes a little bit of time, I can use Sonnet, which is the second highest um, and most powerful tool, or sorry, uh, large language model from Claude. And it runs a little bit faster and also it's a little bit cheaper. So using the same idea here is that Claude 3 Opus will set up the article and then I can expand it using a lesser model of Claude, which would be Claude 3 Sonnet. It'll be a little bit faster and it'll be a little bit cheaper. This is giving me pretty good results. As you can see, the content is a lot longer, but it still has the, the essence that was set up from Claude 3 Opus. We see the list, the tables, and we should be able to see the chart at the end of the article. Let's go ahead and take a look at the full article first from GPT-4 Turbo. Okay, so it's about 1200 words, and we're gonna convert this into Markdown. 
And here's the article that we get back from Anthropic. It is over 1500 words and it actually didn't even finish. So there's actually more information that it wants to write. So what we can do is we can then go ahead and add it to the conversation and tell it to continue writing. So yes, it's definitely a little bit more of a manual approach. Um, you're sort of building your article, but as you can see here, this is going to be an article that's much more unique than any other article that you can find on this topic using any AI writer because of the process in which you followed, right? You didn't just tell the AI to write the full article. You followed a unique process, which allows you to get really, really high quality um, outputs here. So it's already 1500 words. So this looks like it's going to be at least 2000 words um, that we're getting back from Opus. So just in terms of word length, of course, I'd have to go with Opus, but overall, even just taking a look at this article and which we're getting back here, it seems as though the content from Opus is a lot better compared to GPT-4 Turbo. So let's now go ahead and convert both of these articles so we can compare apples to apples. So now that we've written our articles, let's go ahead and do some tests. First is going to be readability. The score is grade 13 for the Opus article, which is obviously pretty high. So we may want to go ahead and um, improve our prompt to tell it to write uh, and aim for a readability score of grade nine or grade eight. And this is GPT-4 Turbo. And again, this is also grade 13. So for both of these articles, the readability score is not the best. So I would definitely go ahead and improve the prompt. I include something in the prompt to tell it to write in a readability um, level of grade eight or write in simple, easy to read tone. In terms of AI detection, the article from GPT-4 Turbo is 0% um, original as I thought it would be. Now let's go ahead and do a scan for the content that we got back from Opus. And we are using the standard mode, um, which is the 2.0 mode, because 3.0 is just very difficult for anyone to bypass. In terms of originality score, the article from Opus was also 0% original, but we really didn't optimize for AI detection. So that is to be expected. So both of them are 0% original. So now let's go ahead and test our SEO score. We will be using Neuron Writer, which is an SEO optimization tool. Essentially, all you do is you enter your um, keyword in which you're trying to go after, and then you can go ahead and do some optimizations or get some recommendations to um, optimize your content to rank on the first page of Google. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to paste in that content. So let's go ahead and copy over all of the content that we got back first from Opus, and then we're going to paste that in there. We're also going to enter our title. We're going to AI generate the title, and we're also going to AI generate the description. Save and close and boom, we're at a 55 content optimization score. So not bad. Um, definitely, if we do some manual optimizations, we should be able to get that to a 70 or even 75 and above. So let's go ahead and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy over the same article uh, that we got back from GPT-4 Turbo. So this is GPT-4 Turbo. And we get a 51. So a difference of three or four in terms of SEO score. So as you can see, both of these tools are able to give us fairly SEO optimized content. I like Opus because we're able to get much more content and it looks as though it follows instructions a little bit better and it's a little bit more consistent. So I recommend using both of these tools for yourselves, trying it out and seeing which ones you like better for your specific niche. Again, if you want to find all of my prompts, it will be in the description below today's video. And if you would like to try out my AI writing tool, it is called Word Rocket. You can try it for completely free, but it allows you to use various templates. You can use your own OpenAI API key and you can write content, um, which I think is much better than using the playground mode. You're able to get much more in-depth uh, content using this tool because we have pre-made prompts and a system which allows you to just get much longer content compared to the playground mode. So if you want to check it out for yourselves as well, I will leave a link for Word Rocket in the description below today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.